in this tutorial I will be showing you how to use the Microsoft Excel to plot the sine versus cosine graph provided you have been given you know a data range uh, looking at this this is the information that was given next for example you are embarking on a project or an assignment given to you in your department or your class and you are asked to plot the the graph of the sine versus cosine graph and in such case maybe you've been asked to use a computer to do it so the best application to use for this is a microsoft excel package though you can also use your freehand sketching if you want to make it to be manual form but in this case i'll be showing you how to use microsoft excel package to draw your sine and cosine graph so the first thing having provided your data this value um, the first thing to do is for you to left click from this cell you left click then you drag all over along this direction to the last cell here then you leave your mouse then on the tab here you will see where it is written insert so quickly click on that the insert tab then we have several groups here and ribbons and several commands but the one we are looking for is the chart group and inside this chart group we have several commands here and the particular one which we are going to make use of in this tutorial is the x and y scatter so right here there's a there's a there's a there's a drop down menu that is going to display now i'm using a um, microsoft excel 2016 maybe if you are there and you are using any other version of microsoft excel you can possibly look for where you can see the insert tab then your chart area if you are finding difficult in locating it you can drop a comment below and i'll reply you as soon as possible so when you click on this you can see a particular command that will drop down here so click on the command and this is your graph you can resize your graph to take any shape you want and if you observe something there's something that popped up immediately the chart was created there were other this thing they called it, the other groups were formed called under the design tab called chart styles so this chart has chart styles will help you to select the best design that may fit your test so in this case i love to select this particular design and here you see it's using chart title and decide to write anything you want maybe a graph a graph of okay. a graph of sign sign function of values of x then when you are done you can then go ahead to save your document so thank you for watching this tutorial